This is my Nikon D3200. Boom. This is my nosy ass wife. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to What's in My Bag. Peace! This is my old bag. It came with my Nikon camera. That's why it's a Nikon bag. Ooh, you like that mesh with that, that leather in the middle? Yeah, you like that handle, don't you? <laughs> Anyways, man, this bag has got me through a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, strat, you know, I just put my stuff in there, stuff it all in there, camera, whatever I had, business cards. Oh, look, I found a lens cap. Wank it, wank it. Get out of here. Anyways, this is my first bag. Got this about 2014. Uh, comes with these handy straps on the front. The very, uh, I don't want to call them versatile, but they're very strong. It's like metal, uh, plastic type thing going on, but uh, they take the bumps and bruises, man, and just keeps on going. Of course, this is for your quick stuff, extra battery, business cards. And look what I found, some stickers. Photographers are hot, yes they are. And photographers like it raw. If you know anything about raw, then you know about film. And what the F stop. Very important when you're taking pictures to make F stops. Or you can just throw it in an auto. Anyways, moving on. Here we have my little tadpole bag. Uh, I bought this when I did my first senior photo with my sister-in-law, Maya. Uh, I don't really use them much anymore. Thought I knew what I was doing. I think I know what I'm doing. I haven't really taken a lot of photos, but it's a light bouncer. On this side, we've got white, this side gold. It unzips and you get two more sides. One is just like a, a shade thing that you get, you, you block sunlight out. You don't reflect any. And then there's a silver side. Uh, it depends on who I'm shooting, gold versus silver, to get a, a better skin glow. Some people you put gold on, they don't look good. Anyways, here's a ring flash I bought. Thought I was gonna get into macro photography. Pro Masters. Uh, it was very cheap. It takes four AA batteries, hooks onto the top of your camera, on off switch, different light settings, left, right, small, light, big light, very bright. Those little buttons there is how you get it attached to the camera. You put that small ring there on the front of your 55 millimeter. I threw all the other ones away because I don't have big lenses. And then it just snaps right on and it works with the autofocus. It's not that heavy to the cam where the camera won't work. But I notice I can't use it with people. It's too bright. They squint. Those little lights are very powerful. I could probably use this for something else. Uh, repurpose it. I also have some different covers, like that clear one you saw. I have yellow, blue, and a solid white. But I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm keep it. Okay. It's fine. Up next we hear it. Up next we have a Polaroid flash. Uh, got another sticker on it because I wanted people to know I'm a freak when it comes to the photography. Takes four AA batteries. Uh, I think non lithium, where they like blow up. Anyways, it adjusts up, down, side to side. You can rotate it backwards. That red thing you see in the middle is where the, the sensor is. Uh, it's pretty cool because as a photographer, if you have good batteries, you'll see the light refract, the red laser light refract on whatever you're about to take. So you know it's like getting the right balance. I don't uh, know. I like it. Very good. Get very good flash. And you can adjust the settings, you know, bright, dim. What we got next? Uh, backup hard drive. This is about a 250 gigabyte. Oh, 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 yeah. I did that just for you. ASMR, baby. Hold on, hold on. Let's do one more. Oh, oh, don't you just love peeling that? Anyways, I haven't peeled that in about five years. I think I bought that in 2016. So not 14, so about three years. So that's a very special one for my viewers. I didn't think I'd get into ASMR, but looks like I did. But yeah, it's good to back up your stuff. I erased the hard drive once on accident, but I had that backup drive and a lot of my old stuff prior to photography was on there. Anyways, in this little thing, we have some lens covers. This one's HD, supposedly good for taking pictures with flowers. Uh, haven't really enjoyed using that one. It's too much purple. This one's a high def sun glare reducer. Love that one. And then this one's just a regular clear protector. Like I said, the purple one, not really a fan of. 
but the uh, the clear one's cool because I when I'm in public, you know, live in Las Vegas, people bump you. But then the 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 sun glare one is great if I have Photoshop and other programs, which look spectacular. Here we have the rocket ship, the Falcon Heavy Seven. No, this is just a a squeeze thing that helps you clean your camera, get some of that dirt out, little microbes from when you change your lens in public, without damaging the shutters and things like that. Uh, very cheap, got that off of Amazon. But it's cool, my, my daughter likes to play with it. <laughs> Here I have some electrical tape. I bought it to fix my car, different colors. Uh, I was using electrical wires, that's why I got the different colors so I know what I was doing, but I'm gonna repurpose these as uh, spot markers for when I do films. Uh, kind of learned this from working, at, working and volunteering at the church, like, okay, main singer, you're gonna stay in here. So I think I could use these for when I'm doing films, like, okay, you go to point A, point B, I need you to go to point C, to point D, to point A, and meet up with the first person. Don't stand there, stand here. But I mean, you know, it'll just help me, help the actors, help us all get along, get things going. Next up we have photo samples. I went to WPPI convention here in Las Vegas. I believe it was at MGM at the time, uh, but I really want to take really spectacular photos. I know I want to get a better camera, but I want to get some like super luster pictures. Uh, it's it's about the feel, the look, the glossiness, and you know just the 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 print. Like what do we have here? Luster photo paper. Luster photo paper. Okay, I think that's the best one out of. It's smooth. It's not rough, but it's very glossy and shiny, and it's durable. Just in case people don't put their pictures in frames right away. ProMaster Tripod, just a special guest appearance. This is one of my best friends. I got this first after shooting senior pictures with something I got off Amazon that was super cheap and I had to super glue it together. So I got this bad boy, it was about $200 and it's done wonders since it turns into a monopod. It takes a little work and a little time. So you more have to plan for the job. Are you gonna take the full tripod, the monopod, or are you just gonna carry the camera? Because changing this to a monopod, it's not a hassle, but it takes a while. You gotta take that neck off. You gotta take the leg off. You gotta disconnect the leg, the neck from the secondary part and then et cetera, et cetera. Here we have some lighting that I just got, started using from Geek Kodo. Uh, cheapish, but does the job. I don't take it outside. I just keep it inside. Um, I'm not taking this to jobs. I'm not, I'm not, these aren't these aren't mobile this right here is my new bag manfrotto baby oh yeah now this bag is an upgrade i got it because i started having so much gear i want to upgrade look side pocket another side pocket oh but this one has more access <laughs> then we have this top pocket which is a uh, quick grab pocket you know I keep some things in here direct access to the bag though lots of zippers on this bag and this bag is the protective security bag with the, the main pockets on the uh, your back so nobody can just come up behind you and snatch your camera they might get a, a, a battery or something with those side pockets but they're not gonna get any of your main stuff now look at all these compartments Nice mesh zipper so you can see what you need. Just put it down on the ground, unzip, and grab. But first up, my shutter release button. Another ProMaster item. I like it cheap, because that's what I can afford. <laughs> One day I'll get some of the spectacular big brand things. But it's all right, baby. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Now this is my little pocket. I keep a lot of important things in here, things I love. This I'm using right now, it's a flex mic. This is actually sold from uh, I believe drone masters it goes on your your drone or some of your phone gimbals it's just an omnidirectional mic but it works for me it does wonders I do a lot of interviews with it uh, my GHB things you'll see people holding my phone with the little mic on it that's it man and I think it only cost me 10 bucks plus shipping and I've been using it ever since of course I got a little memo pad because when I do interviews I like to have questions or if I'm doing something and want to Plug somebody out, you know, drop down their address, email, whatevs. Memory cards, always have extra. You never know if your memory card is going to die or get full. And 
That's a big thing when taking photos, doing videos, especially videos. The day my memory card dies, I'm good. I got, what's that, 32 gigabytes more to go. Of course, you got some lens cleaners, the soft, uh, I don't want to call it microfiber, because there's a certain type of lens you don't want to use, like this one, you use this side. You clean your lens, you get all that gunk off, fingerprints, things like that. But there's another side that, that has little grippies. Use that on your hands. This one, it's a magic brush cleaner. You open it up, you got the, it's like a microfiber cloth, but it gives you a little more pressure. You use your hand, get the little fingerprint grease off, you know, in the corners. But then you got the brush here to just wipe off the dust, you know? Get in little crevices that your cloths don't get into, knock the dirt off. Keep you going good. The big pocket. Yeah, I'm talking about you, babe. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those little compartments there. Oh, yeah. That's where I keep my camera, but I'm recording with the camera. So, yeah. Keep some things here. Keep some things there. And I keep some more things here. Oh, there's the zipper. And of course you can pack this bag however you want. You can move those little side pockets and make different compartments. My Rode mic, uh, got a love-hate relationship with it. But it does wonders compared to just using the on-camera mic. On off, some kind of extra decibel thing. And you see my dead cat on the top, that just keeps the wind out. It takes a nine volt battery. This is the hardest thing to do is get this on right. <laughs> but yeah, there's the dead cat. Oh, I pulled off too much. But this is the mic itself. Shotgun. So whatever you point at is what it's recording. Now under the dead cat is the regular fluff that goes on the mic. Obviously it says their name. I keep my dead cat on. I, use, I barely take it off. And that is a pause moment. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like out the box on the camera without the dead cat. So if you're inside, you know, you look official. People see me with this mic and they love it. Got your battery charger. This one came with the camera. Flips out to save space, plug it into the wall. There's a battery in here somewhere. There's my spare. I found out after a while, I always keep a spare. Another ProMaster item. Just pop it in, plug it into the wall. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Uh, pretty, fairly quick charge. I don't like to do the quick charge, you know, like on the spot. I like to have them both charged up, ready to go. So I only do about two batteries worth of shooting, but that's just me. Do what you gotta do, do what you want. So these are your best friends, batteries. Let's throw this back in here. What we got? Oh, a little Nikon, you know, for those little jobs. The pay big. What, what are you doing? What? Oh, I thought I broke the camera. No, it's just USB. I like to keep pictures on it, portfolio stuff, in case somebody asks what kind of photos I'm doing when I'm going somewhere. Like, hey, just look. <laughs> you never know. In here, I got a new device that I haven't used as much as I'd like, but going to implement it a lot. It's a. It's a boy. No, it's a booyah mic. It's a. Clip on mic you put on a shirt. It's very long, it's about 20 feet. I can hook it up to a phone, I can hook it up to a camera, but it, it's great for audio. I've decided not to let everybody just hold my phone. I know it's a Blackberry and I can drop it and not have to worry about it. But 35 millimeter, plug it in the camera, phone, get my audio. That way they can move along, uh, be away from the camera, not have to hold stuff in their hands. That way, get them to talk really good, let them use their hands, express themselves a lot more. So. More of that coming soon. Next up we have Big Baby. Yeah, Big Baby. It's an extra lens. Keep it in a sexy lens lens bag. But it's my, uh, what is it? 55 to 200 millimeter lens. Stock with the Nikon D3200 that I bought. Yeah. I usually use my 18 to 55. That's like my go-to when I get up close and personal. But this one's, I use differently if I'm trying to catch a picture like a bird or something. Something farther away, something different. I don't really use it on people because, you know, different lenses make people's faces look different no matter 
what angle you do it from. It just changes the perspective of them. Yeah, let's put Big Baby away before she starts crying. Oh, good night, Big Baby. We'll see you later. Okay, good night. I love you. Moving on, we got a little special guest in here. A charger. Plug into the wall. Show it, show it. Flip. Yeah, save space. But this goes to that. What's in there? A little Kenneth Cole leather bag. A little belt clip. Inside we have my vlog camera. This is one of my original cameras. Uh, if you go back and look at my oldest YouTube videos, this is where a lot where it started. My first point and shoot. I think I got this at the swap meet. Actually, no, I bought this new because I remember I had a box and I shouldn't have got rid of it. Anyways, on off video photo mode. Uh, it does really well on audio. I think we took this camera to Disneyland, but yeah, it does really good on audio. The videos, I, I'd want to say spectacular. Not for today's age where it's like four and eight K cameras sitting in somebody's like studio, but very versatile. The only thing is I can't get a mini tripod to hold it because I put it on my big tripod and I over tightened it so the the screw lock is broke, but it's okay. It's a great handheld. I suggest you get one for your kids, but hey, that's what's in my bag. What's in yours? Soup.tv. Thanks for watching.